All right. I've got something pretty cool that just came in the mail. But first we need our big incubator. I'm gonna get inside our house. I'll explain to you what's going on. Don't fall. Don't fall, 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 don't fall. Don't fall. Okay, made it. All right, well this package just showed up today and we are pretty excited about it because it came from a long ways away. This package came from the UK. It took about six days to get here. So let's open it up, see if these eggs are still alive. These eggs came from Poppy's Poultry from our viewer Lloyd over in England, I believe. So if you're over that way and you're looking for some different hatching eggs, be sure to look them up. It's all wrapped in styrofoam and bubble wrap. Pretty interesting. I guess we've got two halves to it. Looks like we've got six good eggs right here. Package number two. All right, well nicely done. We have got 12 good looking eggs right here. So we're gonna let them rest till tomorrow. We'll get them started in our incubator that we just moved into the house. And what are these eggs from? Well, they're from chickens, but Let's let them hatch first, and then I'll show you what we got here. Hey, what are you still doing up? Right around 21 days from now, you might have your baby. Our baby, you mean? <laughs> Pretty exciting. All right, we are ready to start our eggs in this incubator. This is our Brinzi Ova Easy Advance 100. This is our top of the line cabinet incubator that we use for all of our really important eggs. Unfortunately, we tried to hatch out our peafowl eggs this year and didn't have success. I don't think it's because of the incubator as much as it was outside in the garage. It got really hot in the garage in June, and so we've had some issues with hatching eggs out there. And so that's why we decided to move it inside, just so we could control all of the temperature that hits this incubator. Got some other eggs here in the bottom. I have some pheasant eggs, a couple guinea eggs that I've collected over the last week. So we'll put them in there as well. Right now you hear the humidity pump running, and so it automatically puts in water into the incubator. And so I don't really have to worry about the humidity on here as long as I keep the humidity pump filled up about every day or two. I've just got to hit this button right here and it'll start to turn our eggs and it rotates them every 45 minutes. Set these eggs on July 21st so we should start to see these eggs hatching in about 18 to 21 days in the early part of August. All right so let's talk about the legal way to do this to get eggs from overseas to the US. Now I get a ton of questions from people that want me to ship them mandarin duck eggs or red golden pheasant eggs somewhere else overseas and I, I just can't, I can't do that. One, there's just too much paperwork involved. I just don't think I can get the eggs there quick enough. And then also a lot of countries, they won't accept things from us as well as us accepting things from a number of countries. There are some countries that are approved, follow the correct guidelines and fill out the right paperwork. You can get eggs from other countries but not every country. And why do they do that? They do that for a couple of reasons. One, they wanna know what's going in and out of the country. Two, they're trying to prevent diseases from coming into the country and, and affecting our agriculture, it, it killing other birds. So what can you do? We've got a link down in the description for the Department of Agriculture for their import of live animals or live animal products. And so you can actually fill out a form online. I believe they say it takes about seven to 10 days to approve. And then if they do approve, then you can have them shipped in. And sometimes they, they need certain things with the eggs, like they need something from a veterinarian to make sure that they are disease free when they come in. Now, will they always get here safely? No, that's the problem with shipping eggs. They could be damaged while coming overseas or they might not get here fast enough. Heard of, of stories of people having them for a couple weeks or keeping them at room temperature and them still hatching, but typically it takes longer than 10 days, they won't hatch. So these guys here, they've got a few days left. Let's see if any of them make it. One hatch. I don't know what I expected, but it's not what I expected them to look like. Yeah. Like the white face, black skin. Right. So it's like, like a lavender orpington or something. Yeah. Well, it is hatch day for these little chicks. I hadn't seen any action, so I wasn't sure if they were going to make it or hatch. I'll go ahead and put them over into this incubator so that I can keep them warm and keep them from falling off the top shelf of that one. I don't know, they all had like these little speckles on them. I thought maybe 
maybe it exploded on the inside or something, but I wasn't sure. Is anyone else chirping? I think it's a few more days for like, some of these pheasants. So while we're approaching the new year, I want to talk about New Year's resolutions, taking control of your finances, and about today's sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Truebill. Truebill is an all-in-one personal finance platform that helps you save more and spend less. The personal finance manager allows you to manage subscriptions, lower bills, monitor your credit score, and build your savings all in one place. I've loved getting to know Truebill and all that it can do for our finance. I really like that it can help me cancel unwanted subscriptions. Truebill safely and securely identifies recurring charges and cancels unwanted subscriptions for you with just a tap. Hey, Bubbles. And get this, they can even help you lower your bills. Just today I put in my AT&T bill and there's already somebody that contacted me saying that they're gonna work on negotiating to lower the bill. Hey, Bamboo. And you can set budgets that automatically monitor your spending, like our feed bill. Yeah, Bamboo. It's like $400 every month. You can get friendly notifications when you've exceeded them and visualize your spend to earn ratio by month, quarter, or year. It's a great time to take control of your finances and make a new year's resolution. Try it out for free by going to truebill.com slash white house or just click the link in the description. Where are we gonna take the chick? Uh-uh. To the brooder? Yeah, brooder. <laughs> you ready to come little buddy? Now hold him. It's a cute chick, isn't it? You know what we're gonna name him? Mm. We're gonna name him Poppy. Oh. Can you say Poppy? Poppy. You gonna take him out to the brooder? Yeah. You gonna carry him or can I carry him? Oh. You're gonna do it? Okay, let's yeah. go. Unfortunately, it's a couple days late and none of the other eggs are gonna hatch. Like the yolk that is formed up outside of some of the eggs, so I think just the plane ride over the ocean caused a lot of them to explode. So luckily, over in the brooder, we've got a couple little babies already in there. We had two red golden pheasants and one guinea, so we'll watch them make sure they're not bullies, not picking on this little chick that just hatched, but I think this chick will be just as big as these three. We've got some of our red golden pheasant babies from this year over there, and then we've got these three guys that just hatched. Can I have Poppy? All right, here's little Poppy. All right, you ready to put in the brooder? Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Is it little Poppy? Yeah. We like to have somebody in the brooder with these chicks. If they're by themselves, they usually don't do too well. So it's good that they'll have some company. Guineas, pheasants, and poppy outside. We've got two pheasants to move over that way. Last but not least, this three week old poppy. Looking really cool, starting to get some really long feathers in. Looking really gorgeous. Hey, up, poppy. Hmm. All right. Enjoy your first time out on grass, poppy. So it is now middle of December, and Poppy is four months old now. Here's one of the guineas. They're ready to go out with the other guineas out at the aviary. Oh, bit my head. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> so here is four month old Poppy. Now, Pretty much full size. This is about the age, about three to four months, that we like to merge them in with the bigger birds. And so we're just gonna keep her out here with the, the Bantam flock and merge them in with them. Normally you would like to do it at night, but kind of hard to film at night, so we're gonna do it here during the day. So we're gonna put Poppy in the coop. She'll probably get picked on a little bit in here, but at least she'll know where her home is. Out at the aviary we've got our two guineas here and we've got three out here initially when we had them out here we had about 10 guineas and some went off into the woods and i think they started getting picked off one by one by 
some of the predators out there and the owls. So we're gonna bring these two in and hopefully these other three will help bring them into their, their group. And we're out here at the aviary and the, the goal is not to have the guineas out here next year. The goal is to have all of our exotic birds, to have the peafowl, to have the mandarin ducks, to have the red golden pheasants out here. As soon as we get the fencing in, sometime in the spring. But for now, we wanted to use this space and be able to keep the guineas somewhat safe from predators, but then also keeping our chickens and ducks and turkeys safe from them because they're very mean and abusive towards the other birds. Is that loud? This is Poppy. She's now almost five months old. See Poppy? Come here. Can you pet Poppy? It's now New Year's Eve. We started this back in July of this year. We didn't know what to think without the white appearing on the face and then to get a, a gray or a lavender of these black white faced Spanish. Lloyd told us that was uh, pretty cool and then the females just take a little bit longer to get their the white on the face to develop. She is just gorgeous. Look at this chicken. So we might try again this next year. Lloyd might send us some other eggs. We may try to, to hatch out a few more, but Lloyd, we really thank you for working with us on this. Poppy's gonna do great in our Bantam flock. Should old acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind? Should old acquaintance be forgot Stop. and day Bye. Bye.